What's going on guys? It's me, Jim Lana Fan 2016 here. And today we have the NG Models March 2023 releases for you guys. I'm eager to see on what NG has released for March of this year. And hopefully it's a good set and it's a big set. Not as big as February because like there's like literally a lot. But but I'm excited to see what NG releases on the table for March. And I'm just beyond excited to see what models they have. Unfortunately, I did see one, and I'm not gonna tell you what it is until I see it. But, like I said, it, it, I looked at it last night, and I just saw that NG just dropped their releases. And unfortunately, I did see one. And yeah, quite unfortunate, but I won't tell you what it is unless I see it. So. Here we go, so I got some hints, but I'm not gonna read all because like I don't want to make this too long So for the A320s, we got some interesting stuff from like Asia and like Australia areas and like some South Americas for the A330s, it's mixed, in, mixed between like China and like the Middle East and some Europe 737s should be quite interesting we got like a few Maxis and like a few 700s and 757s, quite interesting too. Triple seven should be interesting as well. And some Dreamliners and L1011s and the tier 154s. Um, not gonna go over that much other than just like hitting on what it is. Uh, we can expect, I'm hoping for like an American though for the triple sevens. And as for like the 737s, some European stuff, like, I know we're gonna get some Southwest, but I don't know which one, so it should be quite interesting. So, here we go. So let's scroll down to February, and as you can see, February's release set, a lot of delayed models. Some models still have, like, a, a photograph image of the aircraft, like, take this Corsair 747. Oh, actually, they actually have a picture of the Corsair, actually, because, like, I last checked, and they still had the photograph. So let's have a look at the United. So here's the United 737 Max 9. It looks very nice and really excited to get that. Next up, we do have a Cebu Pacific 757 in the city of Manila livery. I just gotta wait for that to load. Uh, there we go, and there she is. So here's the CGI image of the aircraft, looking absolutely very pretty. And unfortunately, this model is delayed, so I may have to like wait on that until that's available. But other than that, really excited to get it, and hopefully it turns out perfect. And of course we got the a and triple seven that's sold out already. The um, Malev is already sold out. Southwest, of course, especially the Max 8, the KD Blue Retro is sold out. Where is it? The Jet Blues are also sold out too, and the Air Busan A321 Neo is also sold out as well. Yeah, there, there we go. The Canyon Blue Retro is already sold out, but I need to get it at least. But yeah, uh, one two other models. Eh, there's only one that's available, and it's the Dassault Aviation Falcon 7X, which, which I gotta say it looks very nice. And yeah, that's pretty much it for like all the stuff from February. So as I scroll down, we should move on to March, and there we go. So I'm really excited to see what NG has released for March. I'm hoping it's gonna be amazing, and yeah, expect um, and yeah, expect a lot of models to be in this release set. So, without further ado, let's look at Engine Models March 2023 releases. So, I'm really excited, and yeah, let's do it. So, let's start with our first model, and let's see. All right, here we go. And starting off with an arrow, ugh. Here we go. So let's start off with the Air Europa 737-800. So here she is right there. She has blended winglets and of course it's an airline from Spain. Really interesting model or like it's a really interesting airline that NG, just, NG decides to do. Apologize for that long pause. Well not too long but yeah hopefully the European collectors are happy about this. And yeah. So the registration on this aircraft is Echo Charlie Mike XA Mike. And good start so far. Good start. Alright, so next up we should have is 
And there we go, this is the Southwest 737 700 with split scimitars and the Canyon Blue Re in the Canyon Blue livery to be released. And yeah, this is the aircraft I saw last night. Quite surprised as soon as I saw it, it's like, oh god, like it's Southwest. And then I had to like look back, what is it? Because like and there we go, it's a split scimitar 737-700, and yeah, that's the only aircraft I saw from the release set that was leaked before I even gone through the releases in the first place. But yeah, but I'm gonna be getting this model, I know some people are not interested because it's not a heart livery, but I'm gonna get this model because I want to build up my Southwest collection, and I want to make sure I want to get that now because like otherwise, it's gonna sell out quick, and I didn't have much time to like get the blended wing, blend, blended winglet version. I apologize, but yeah, I'm gonna be getting this one, and it should turn out nice. I wish it wasn't a heart livery, but Canyon Blue will do. I'm not gonna get that much Canyon Blue planes though, because like a lot of Southwest planes are heart liveries now. But yeah. So the registration on that aircraft is November 251, Whiskey November, which I think, as of now, is now in the heart livery, so, yeah. So, at least, NG did a release, a uh, re-release in this case, of the 737 splits, Canyon Blue livery, 700. So, gonna be getting that. Yeah. Alright, so as we scroll down a little bit more, we should now have... An Aero Mexico 737-700. Hmm, quite interesting. Because I thought it was another Southwest plane, but we do have an Aero Mexico uh, all polish step, all polish 737-700, and it's in an old livery, so this is what it looks like right there. Quite interesting choice by NG, and yeah, should turn out very nice, especially with the polish, chrome polish planes. Uh, cause EG is chrome planes, they hit another level, so this model should turn out very nice. So the registration on that aircraft is November 788 X-ray Alpha. Alright, so now scrolling down a little bit more, we should have, there we go, oh actually, I thought it was gonna be a max, but we do have a Fly Dubai 737-800, and there she is right there. And I also painted out some maxes, so hopefully we hopefully we get some maxes if I already guessed. But yeah, here's the 800, and I think following after that would be the max 8 if I already guessed. So there she is. Really interesting airline from Dubai, of course, since it says Fly Dubai. And yeah, registration on that aircraft is Alpha 6 Foxtrot Delta Romeo. So, here's a Fly Dubai 737-800, and hopefully we get another one, but it's a Max. Let's see. Actually, no, it is another 737-800, but this time it has split skin guitars now. So, quite interesting for NG to release some planes with blendeds and splits. So, this model is one example. So, same livery, but now it has split skin guitars, as you can see right there. Yeah. Registration on that aircraft is Alpha 6, Foxtrot Echo, Quebec. Now we move on to like our 900, or maybe we might get some Maxes. Let's see. And actually, not yet, but we do have a Ryanair 737-800, and this is the first 737-800 in the fit to have the retrofitted, it, to be retrofitted with split scimitar. So there she is. Ryanair just like... I think it was like a month back when Ryanair introduced some split scimitars on their 737-800s and quite interesting right there. Looks pretty interesting. I may try to get this model, I know there's like an oddball but technically I would like get this model for the memes, you know, from like the hard landings and all <laughs> but I may try to like get this depending on how, I don't know, I, I may try to like get this, that's all I'm saying, but I could try getting this just for the memes, but yeah. <laughs> so the registration on that aircraft is Echo India, Delta Lima Yankee. So, I'll throw an interesting start for the 737s. And as I scroll down, let's 
see what our next model is. And we do have a Copa 737-800 in the retro livery. Typically the 75th anniversary retro livery. So there she is right there. Now Gemini Jets also put this in their future release set. But it hasn't like went into like a release set. So NG took care of that and released it for March. So we might get this. I'm eager to see on what the NG models look like. And yeah, it should turn out nice. I mainly would see Copa fly to like, I think they would use like the 737-900 if I were to guess to SFO, so quite interesting right there. But overall, the delivery looks very nice, and Copa did a nice job on designing this delivery. Of course, it's the retro delivery, but yeah. The registration of this aircraft is a long one, which if I could try to like, say it without messing up. But the registration on that aircraft is Hotel Papa 1841 Charlie Mike Papa. Nailed it. <laughs> but yeah, that's that aircraft right there. Alright, so now scrolling down a little more, we should now have an Aero Europa 737 800 with a 30 on Anjos sticker. There it is. So I think it's like celebrating 30th anniversary of the airline. So there it is. The 30 Anjos 737-800 Air Europa. Yeah, so really nice release set for the European collectors. I think mainly the Spanish collectors from Spain. Yeah. Registration of that aircraft is Echo Charlie Mike Kilo Lima. So we got this one and that one over there. So yeah. Next up, as we scroll down a bit further down. We should now have the Korean Air 737-900. And I think it's the one with the no winglets. Yep, it is the one with no winglets in the normal livery. So there it is right there. You can see the eyebrow windows as well. So you can tell it's a 737-900, not an ER variant, just by looking at the aircraft. So there it is right there. And the registration of this aircraft is Hotel Lima 7706. Yeah, some interesting 737s right here. Yeah, quite an interesting start. Alright, so as we scroll down, let's see what we have. I think we might move on to the 757s. Actually, we do have... Actually, we do have a 737-900ER from... Uh, this is an airline I never heard from before, but it's like OK Air, I'm guessing. But... Yeah, it's an airline from China. I have never heard about this airline before, so quite interesting. And of course, it has blended winglets. Yeah, this is a very interesting airline that I never heard from before, but quite interesting right there. The registration of this aircraft is Bravo 129R1. Alright, so that's the 737s. I think we kicked all the 737-800s, well, the 737 family, so, yeah. I think we're now moving on to our 757s, so let's see what our 757s are. Actually, we do have another 737-900, and this is from Shenzhen Airlines. Now, I think they, I'm not sure if this, like, this is, like, the one they still had in their, like, their database or it was delayed because like I think I saw a similar delivery to this but I don't know I think this is a re-release airline this is like a re-release of this model right here if I were to guess so we're getting another Shenzhen Airlines 737-900 of course the typical Chinese stuff because NG's from China and yeah so the registration of that aircraft is Bravo 5106 so yeah I think we kicked all the 737s already, so let's move on downward. And we should have a 757-200 from TWA in the American Airlines Polish Hybrid. Ooh, how about this? Wow! Really interesting right there. So, we do have an American TWA Hybrid livery on the Boeing 757. And honestly, this livery is very interesting. I do like the TWA over there and the TWA on the tail and part of the American Airlines chrome livery. It looks very nice and I gotta say, I bet many of the American collectors are gonna be buying this. Of course, this is gonna sell out fast, so <laughs> get that. Personally, um, 
I would love to get it, but not in my collecting criteria as of now. But overall, a very interesting aircraft indeed. And yeah. So the registration in this aircraft is November 704 X-ray, which Oh yeah, that's the exact I'm Oh yeah, this is the exact aircraft that like Delta has. November 704 X-ray. I think that's the aircraft that NG did, but with like Delta Airlines if I were to guess. But yeah, so quite interesting right there. And yeah, so that's the TWA American Airlines Hybrid 757. And yeah, quite interesting. Now, I'm also excited for the 757s because quite interesting popped up. So let's scroll down and let's see what we have. We do have a Cebu Pacific 757-200. And I think it's in the normal livery, the all white. Yup, that's the one. So I'm also going to be getting this model as well because I want to like collect Philippine models because of course I was from the Philippines and yeah, I have family there. So I'm also going to be getting this model as well along with the city of Manila livery. And yeah, so it, of course it's just like a regular Cebu Pacific livery and Honestly, I don't really recall seeing Cebu Pacific 757s, but yeah, of course, like I was young around that time, and mainly I just remember seeing a DC-9 from Cebu Pacific in this special livery, but I don't really recall seeing Cebu Pacific 757s, so yeah. So the registration of this aircraft is Romeo Papa Charlie 2715, and honestly, it's nice for NG to like create more models that are from the Philippines because like many of us well many Asian collectors want to like more Philippine models and yeah nice for NG for releasing 70s so yeah very nice so as I scroll down let's see what our next model is and we do have there we go American Airlines Boeing 777-200ER yes just yes I'm really excited to get this. Of course, I've seen a 777-200ER from American Airlines already, so I'm gonna be getting this model and it should turn out nice. And of course, I'm eager to see on how NG like does the Rolls Royce. I think it was, it's a, yeah, it's a Trent 800 engines because I don't think NG models has ever released a Boeing 777 with the Trent 800 engines. So this is like the first time. I'm hoping to see on what it looks like, but yeah. And the registration of this aircraft is November 776 Alpha November, which is close to the sister ship that I caught, which is November 777 Alpha November. So, really interesting right there. So, the American Airlines 777-200, gonna be getting that, and it should be nice. And let's see if we have the One World. And we do have the One World livery, so there we go. So, there she is right there. Mainly I would like I would love to get the One World as well, but I haven't seen I have not seen the One World Triple Seven yet. But I'll just stick with the American Airlines livery for now. But I think the One World is like in a future hold right now. So quite interesting right there. Registration of this aircraft is November 7901 Alpha November. So nice for NG to release the American Triple Sevens. Yeah, it should turn out very nice. Alright, so now we scroll on downwards, we should have a Qatar Airways 777-300ER, of course, and it's in the FIFA World Cup 2020 sticker or color scheme. And what is it? Hang on, did they release this aircraft already? <laughs> they just literally released this aircraft in the December 2022 releases, and they're releasing one again. But honestly, I'm not sure why they're releasing this model again because like they just did this. I think the reason for that is because like there are two planes that are painted in this livery. So yeah, NG decides to do another one of this. And yeah, but I'm not here to complain. I think NG has like a licensing for like Qatar. So I can see the reason why. So, the registration of this aircraft is Alpha 7 Bravo Echo Bravo. And yeah, I'm not sure if the one from the December 2022 releases had that same registration. I may pull up a text if it does, or maybe a text if it does not, but yeah. Other than that, quite interesting to release this again from NG, but yeah. 
and now moving on downwards, we should have an Air India 787-8. And this is in the 150 years of celebrating the Mahatma sticker. Oh, I think, oh yeah, it's right there. So it's that tiny sticker right there. So there it is right there. It's kind of like hard to see, but I can see it. It's kind of like close to like the L1 boring door. So there it is right there. But yeah. Overall, it's very interesting for an Air India 787-8 and it should be nice for the Indian collectors. So the registration of this aircraft is Victor Tango Alpha November Victor. And we should have another Air India and I'm thinking it's in the regular livery or some other Mahatma Gandhi livery or something. Yeah, it's a uh, Mahatma Gandhi 787-8. So yeah, you can see why because like it has this tail. And it has that same sticker again. But yeah. Wait, hang on. Did I check to make sure? Yeah, I think this is like a regular livery Air India 787-8. And this other one is a Mahatma Gandhi 787-8. Yeah, they already did one for the 1819 already. And yeah, that's all I can think of. But yeah, we also got this for the 787-8. So that registration is Victor Tango Alpha November Papa. We got those, and let's see what the next mall is for the 787s, and that is an EVA Air 787-10. Got this prediction correct, and there she is. I did see one in Seattle, but I'm not sure if it's that registration, but I may have to look at the registration. So we got the EVA Air 787-10, and the registration of that aircraft is Bravo 17811, and I may pull up a picture if I saw this particular aircraft, but if not, then it'll just remain like this. But other than that, we got the EVA Air 787-10. I may try to get this model because like I never had an EVA Air model in my collection. I know I'm trying to like wait for a 777 from them, but hopefully that's in the future. But for now, I think the EVA Air 787-10, pardon me, will do for now because I've seen this aircraft. So, really nice right there. Alright, so as I scroll down, I think we're now moving on to our Airbus planes now. So let me scroll down and let's see what our first Airbus, Air, Airbus plane is. And that will be a Jetstar A320 in their latest livery. So it's their current livery, so there it is right there. Looking very nice, and it's perfect for the Australian collectors because like, I think they wanted like a good Jetstar model. And NG decides to like put this in and it should turn out very nice. This has vent tip, vent tip winglets with the IAE V2500 engines. Yeah, so the registration of this aircraft is Victor Hotel, Victor Foxtrot, Juliet. So that's the Jetstar A220. Next up we should have is, let's see what our next Airbus is. And that is the A220 from Avianca Airlines and this is in the Taka Heritage Livery. And there it is right there. Looking very interesting. Of course, like we got the Avianca and the halfback and the empennage is Taka. So quite an interesting livery design from here from Avianca. Now personally I thought this was gonna be a jet blue, but at second glance I decided it's not because like they just released an Avianca plane with a retro livery, so I went for this one. And yeah, they just released that, so there it is right there. And the registration of this aircraft is November 567 Alpha Victor. So, really interesting right there. I'm hoping I'm hoping for like a JetBlue A220 from NG in the future. But so we got this, and yeah. Alright, so as we scroll on downwards, let's see what we have. I think the AC21s are also like I'm like also eyeing on the AC 21s as well, so quite interesting. There's something interesting for the AC 21s. So let's see what the AC 21s are. So let's start off with the Four Seasons, operated by Titan Airways Airbus A321 Neo. And wow. Wow. Now, personally, I thought it was going to be like the another Royal Air Force, but the Four Seasons one, that is very interesting. And Loving the Four Seasons livery because like you don't see like a all black plane or a dark color plane at all. 
Oh, well, you don't see it commonly. Mainly like you would find Air New Zealand and you would find this one, Four Seasons. It's kind of like a purplish color, like a dark purplish color. But other than that, this is very interesting and yeah, very nice livery. I'm not sure if I want to get this, but I'll just put this on hold. Now I gotta like get it right away. But yeah, very interesting aircraft right there. Yeah, so the registration of this aircraft is Gulf X-ray Alpha Tango Whiskey. And yeah, so that's the Four Seasons. Let's see what our next model is for the AC-21 series. And that is a uh, Shaman Air Airbus AC-21 Neo. I know I'm, I think I'm pronouncing the name of this airline wrong. Shaman Air. I kind of like look up the pronunciation of this airline and yeah, it's pronounced differently. I may try to like try to like pronounce it correctly next time, but yeah, here it is. The Shaman Air Airbus AC-21 Neil. Looking very nice. It's just in the standard livery. Nothing too special. Other, this mall's from China. <laughs> but yeah. So the registration of this aircraft is Bravo 32 Charlie Yankee. Close to saying Victor, but that's a Yankee. But yeah. So that's the Shaman Air. Alright, let's see what the next Airbus AC-21 is. And I'm kind of like tempting that there's going to be something exciting for the AC-21. Well, for me. And that is... A Philippine Airlines Airbus A321 Neo. Yes, sir. Just what I needed. Long time since NG released a Philippine Airlines model. And the last time they did one was back in January 2021 with the AC-5900 and the Love Bus sticker. So, nice for NG to do more Philippine Airlines models. I'm also going to be getting this one too. I haven't seen like an A321 Neo from Philippine Airlines yet, but I do have an upcoming Philippines trip in July, so hopefully I can see that. But other than that, I'm going to be getting this model because, of course, I'm getting Philippine models because you know the drill <laughs> for me. But yeah, very nice. It should turn out nice. And yeah. So that aircraft is registered, Romeo Papa Charlie, 99938. So, I also predicted like a CO version, but it also had that Romeo Papa Charlie 9 registration as well. But, yeah. So, the Cebu Pacific and the Philippine Airlines AC-21, I'm gonna be getting that for this month. So, really exciting right there. Alright, so as we scroll down, we should move on to our AC-30s, and let's see what our first one. Oh, they already released, well, technically they, they hinted this out on the February releases, but we got a Tap Air Cargo Airbus AC-30-200. And it's, of course, with the Tap Air Cargo titles, and yeah. So, it, ha it has some passenger windows, which is quite, a, quite interesting, because, like, mainly it's an air cargo, and usually there will be no windows, so don't... Not sure why, but yeah. So here's the Tab Air Cargo. And yeah. Officially licensed. Oh, it's actually a licensed product by Tab Air Portugal. So quite interesting right there. And the registration is it registration of this aircraft, excuse me, is Charlie Sierra Tango Oscar Papa. So quite interesting. And as we scroll down to our next models, we should have a Tab Air Portugal AC 3200 and of course, this is officially licensed by Taber Por Portugal. There it is. <laughs> kind of like talk too fast a bit. I'm trying to like slow it down. But yes, there is a Taber Portugal A330-200. So looking very nice right there. Registration to this aircraft is Charlie Tango, Tango Oscar Oscar. So we have that. Now let's scroll down. Let's see what our next model is. We have the Air France A330-200, and this is in their revised colors, and it's name... Yeah, I'm not gonna pronounce that name, but here it is right there. So, as I said, did it say revised? Yep, it's in the revised livery, so there it is right there. So, yeah, A330-200 from Air France. I've been always predicting this model, and now it's finally here. So, really nice for the French or European collectors to have this model, and yeah. It's a very, it should turn out to be a nice model. The AC-30 mold from NG is very nice. So the registration of this aircraft is Fox Gulf Zulu Charlie Lima. And yeah, should turn out very nice in 1-400. It really depends if this model is delayed or not. But yeah. Next 
setup we should have is the Air China A330-300 and it's in their regular livery and there it is so quite like typical for NG of course with the Chinese model and all that but yeah we have this and yeah so kind of like nothing too special it's just a standard livery but yeah registration in this aircraft is Bravo 59046 and let's see if we have an Air China special livery to follow that up and we do and this is the 50th Air it's the it's an Air China AC30 with the 50th AC30 from Air China sticker so there it is right there so pretty much it's just the same livery but you also got like the 50th AC30 from Air China sticker right there and yeah, it should turn out very interesting. So yeah, there it is right there. Air China A330. Registration of this aircraft is 5... Oh no. Registration of that aircraft is Bravo 5977. Alright, and I think that's... Um, we're almost done. Don't worry. Well, we got a few more. Let's see what our next model is. And we have an ANAL 1011-1 TriStar. And these have the Chinese characters or like the Japanese characters. So there it is right there. So they already did one before. So nice for NG to also like do a re-release of this model. And overall, the ANA Livy on the L1011. L1011. Excuse me. Like I said. Of course, I talk too fast. Like I said. I'm trying to like slow it down a bit. But yeah. As I was saying, the ANA Livy on the L1011 looks very nice, I gotta say. And overall, it's... It's a nice livery, so you got like, of course, these are different titles, and they say it's Chinese, but I, it's Japanese, <laughs> it's Japanese, it's not Chinese, because of course a and is a Japanese airline, and yeah, you also got the TriStar logo on the s duck engine right there, looking very nice. So the registration of this aircraft is Julia Alpha 8517, and last model is a TU-154, and what is it? That is a... who? that's a... That's a name I'm gonna have to like... Try to like, try to like pronounce. That is a... Sichuan Airlines TU-154M. And there it is right there, so... Quite a very interesting airline from China, of course. And... Yeah, so you got their logo on the tail. And of course, you got some Chinese lettering and Shiz One Airlines titles right there in English. And the registration of this aircraft is Bravo 2630. So, yeah, there's that. And that should be it for the March releases. So, quite an interesting set. Mainly, we got a lot of Asia stuff and a few European stuff from like, and a few Mid Middle East stuff as well. So quite interesting right there. The Southwest 737. I'm expecting. I was expecting more Southwest, but hey, the King and Blue will do for now. It's a very nice model, so gonna be getting a Canyon Blue. The Philippine models, the Cebu Pacific 757-200 in the regular livery, and the Philippine Airlines A321 Neo. Those I'm also gonna be getting as well because of course they're from the Philippines. The Romeo and Papa Charlie registration. So. Of course, I'm gonna be getting those models because, like, I'm now starting to like build up a Philippine model collection because, like, yes, because. <laughs> but other than that, nice release set from NG. The American Airline Triple Seven, I'm also excited for as well. I'm hoping like they do like the correct engines for the Trend 800s. So I'm eager to see on how this turns out, and hopefully it turns out very nice. The TWA 757. That was like quite interesting right there. And I know this is gonna sell out very fast right there. So really excited for that as well. And yeah. But other than that, quite a quite some interesting models right there. So yeah. So the models I'll be getting is the Southwest 737. Uh, what else? The Cebu Pacific 757200. The American 777. Mainly the regular livery. The One World, I'll keep that on hold. The EVA Air 787-10 as well. And scrolling down, I'll also get the Philippine Airlines A321 Neo. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So those are the models I'll be getting. But other than that, this is a very nice release set for NG models. And yeah, of course, with all these like different varieties, it's a very nice release set from NG overall. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. 
make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on that post notification bell so you won't miss a video like this anytime soon. So, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Anyways, good night.